All right. Hello, everyone. Good to be here. Uh, I'm Shicken. This is Batman. Uh, so before we start, I got to check the status of our incentives. And unfortunately, it looks like our upgrade to hard mode was not met. All right. And what skin are we going with? So it looks like the currently winning skin for our costume choice bid war is 1970s Batman. All right. Good choice. Uh, but it can change throughout the run, so keep those donations coming. We're going to jump right into it here. Time is going to start right about now. All right, so um, as I said, I'm Shicken. Uh, I, I mainly you. run the Arkham Capturing games. Um, yeah, I'm one eyed Geek, and I also run the Arkham Batman. games. Uh, generally, Arkham Knight, but I have run Arkham City in the past and pretty recently, actually. Yeah. Um, so this is Hugo Strange. Uh, he's the bad guy, I guess. I don't know. We're not going to see him very often, so he's kind of just rambling right now. Um, and we're playing as Bruce Wayne at the beginning. I know that's a little weird because it's a Batman game, but don't worry, just go with it. It'll it'll be fine. Um, so we're locked up in a prison right now. Um, that's not great. Billionaires don't really like being locked up, so we're going to try to get out of here real quick. Yeah, and Hugo Strange has turned Arkham City into a prison, or Arkham, but basically a Gotham City into a prison, basically borrowing the plot from Escape from New York. <laughs> so. All right, totally tricked that guard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did not expect that at all. I don't know, Bruce seems pretty good at fighting for a billionaire. Yeah. I mean, he's got all that time, right? Yeah. Because he doesn't have to worry about money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is this is pretty rough. We we're just gonna stay away from all that. Um, they want us to go through line A, so we're gonna make our way through here. Um, so a couple couple things to mention. Um, if you've seen a run of this before, you might notice. So optimally, we would be doing the run in Spanish, but I've decided to do this run in English because uh, that way we get to hear Kevin Conroy's voice, the voice of Batman. Yeah. Uh, rest in peace. Yeah, Kevin Conroy passed away from cancer. Um, November 2022. Yeah. They uh they really don't like us here. Yeah. Particularly him. He's not he's not very happy with us. We don't want to make things too easy. And he knows we're going to be a problem. So when we get through this little area, there's going to be a small fight with uh, four guys. Yeah. And we're going to do some fun speed tech right off the bat as Bruce Wayne. Yeah, you would think this is an auto-scroller, but somehow you're able to actually save time here. Yeah. Um, this is Jack Ryder. He's a... Legendary shot. reporter. Yeah. And that's just some guy. Yeah. Don't worry about him. He'll be fine. All right, so a bunch of dudes are going to drop down here. So I am going to whack this guy, and then I'm going to do some speed... Oh, I messed it up. Didn't yeah, have enough time. So that's a counter, but you can actually cancel the counters. Um, yeah. You press the caps locks button, um, and it actually does save time <laughs> doing that. I got, got a little glitched out there. Yeah. That was funny. Never, never seen these guys glitch out like that. But there's a lot of weird physics stuff in this game. Yeah. And there's yeah some guy named Penguin. Yeah. I think his name's Oswald. Oswald. Yeah. And I think his middle name's Chesterfield. Nice. And I think his last name's Cobblepot. Yeah. He doesn't like us because of some 150-year-old history. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's family. family drama from literally the 1800s that he's still mad about. And also, he just hates billionaires. And, yeah. you know. <laughs> so he's going he's gonna to rant at us a little bit, you know, do the, the classic villain monologuing thing. Yeah. They, just, they just can't help themselves. And then... But we don't really have time to deal with all this drama, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do that. Um, and then I'm just gonna whack him in the back of the head real quick. There we go. And that perfectly sets me up for these counter animations from behind that are a little bit faster. And now that the handcuffs are broken, and uh, we're gonna try to get out of here. Yeah. So we could fight these guys, but that's slow. So <laughs> we're gonna try to not. <laughs> Uh, but this skip is pretty difficult. Um, it's very precise. <laughs> I'll try it one more time. Okay. No. Aw, uh, okay. okay. So, we're fortunately, on... uh, fortunately, Bruce Wayne knows martial arts. Yeah. And yeah, we're on easy, so this fight actually isn't super long. Yeah. 
On hard, I think they take a, they take a lot more hits. Yeah. So he'll, he'll try, try one it. more time. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so <sighs> what, what, he, what he's trying to do is he's he's trying to jump onto an invisible wall, and then from that invisible wall, you can get onto the dumpster without fighting those guys. Um, it's pretty difficult though. So. Yeah. It's like not the hardest thing in the game, but it's pretty hard to do consistently. Yeah. yeah. I've been. We discovered it like five years ago, and I'm still bad at it. So. <laughs> But, uh, just doing some parkour now. We're gonna go meet up with Batman on top of this building. He's gonna help us out. Although I did get some one -on -one time with Hugo Even though we're a billionaire, he just he just kind of helps everyone, you know. He knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman. He also told me that something called Protocol Ten. Go over here. Here he is. Right on time. Dropped in that thing. All right, let's go meet Batman. For some reason, it's key to Bruce Wayne's handprint. I don't know what that's about, but there he is. <laughs> There's Batman. Batman. Yeah. Woo! Wait. What? Is Bruce Batman? No. 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 Oh, yeah. No, Bruce is going to go hide in the pod. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Okay. And then, uh, because of the skin change, the skin just changes. It's different in cutscenes yeah. versus when you play. It's yeah, pretty it just, funny. It so, just, yeah. It's pretty funny. Um, all right, so we're just doing some boilerplate, like listen to what the bad guys are doing type stuff. So this is a good time for some donations. All right. We have $25 from CatDog3. Glad to be watching my favorite Arkham Man runner at AGDQ. Let's beat cancer. We have $25 from Desiree BLG. Let's go, Batman. Sure, we yeah. We have $50 from Yoshi. Gotta get our Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill fix. We have $20 from Zephyron. Voting for animated series Batman in honor of the late Kevin Conroy, LGBT legend. His compassion for his other LGBT community members during the AIDS crisis makes him one of my heroes. So the uh... All right, everyone. So you might have noticed that we are having some minor technical difficulties, but that's all right. Our production crew is on it. Big shout out to our production crew behind the scenes here at Awesome Games Done Quick 2024. Yeah, absolutely. Give them a hand. Just checking in on our costume choice, it looks like 1970s Batman is still in the lead. And you all donated over almost $4,800 to get that 1970s Batman. Thank you all very much for your generous donations. Now another ending choice and another incentive we have coming up is for Clock Tower, our next run. You have two endings to choose. You have ending S and you have ending A. Ending S is currently in the lead with over $2,000 and ending A has just over $300. Now, I do have a little bit of information about what exactly each of these endings are about. Hold on one second. So, for those of you who may not be aware of the Clock Tower endings, ending A and S are similar categories, but you discover something about the ending slightly differently from different characters. Also, the A ending does break the game just a little bit more, but the S ending is the main category of the community. So if you would like to see either the ending S or the ending A, make sure you apply that incentive on that donation screen. We have $25 from Grandpa. What's that you say? A man bat? We have $50 from Floating Tin Can. We tried to donate with every GDQ, but we absolutely had to donate during Batman Arkham City. With the benefits going to the Prevent Cancer Foundation, we know that the late, great voice of Batman, Kevin Conroy, would be proud of all of us to fight the villain that is cancer together. Our thanks to our G our thanks to the GDQ team and we are sending our luck out to Chicken Nugget.
All right, I've just heard that our tech team has hopefully fixed our technical difficulties, so we are going to head back to Arkham City with chicken nuggets. Awesome. All right, we're back. All right, so we're heading to the uh, courthouse. Something about Catwoman. She's in trouble. Yeah, she might know something or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Something know. about Protocol 10 or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, here's some speed tech. Yeah. Um, you can spam the quick fire back claw and dive rolling at the same time to dive roll fast. <laughs> yeah, running is too slow in this game. Yeah. So. And here's some ground takedown cancels using the same idea, just spamming the back claw. Yeah, so fights are going to look very different from probably what you're used to. <laughs> there we go. Basically what you're doing is you're canceling the ground takedown animation uh, with the quick fire back claw. Nice. All right. And now Batman is Oh gonna... no, <laughs> Batman died. This is really bad. What are we going to do? Anyway, here's Batman 2. He's going he's gonna to take over from here. Yeah. Um, so here we're going to be uh, scanning a sniper shot. So um, we are going to we're gonna track the sniper shot to the church uh, in Arkham City. Uh, but going to the church and like doing the stuff in there is very slow. So we're going to actually try to skip it. This is actually one of the most difficult skips in the run. I think probably the most difficult. So uh, hopefully we, hopefully she can get to this. He was... But, uh, so we're, uh, we're not going to go to church. We're going to yeah. do the, uh, the Christian bail, if you will. Exactly. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is a zip. Uh, basically, a zip will let us teleport out of bounds. So that's pretty cool. Then we're going to do a pretty precise glide here. Um, because what we're going to try to do is enter the church from out of bounds. Um, so we'll do a third dive bomb. And then hopefully we have enough height to climb this uh, invisible platform. Oof. I might be able to Let's try see. this. Eight. Nice. That's and then, so now we open the door. Um, now you'll see that basically we're in this unloaded uh, area here. We're going to basically try to go to a certain point within the church to, to basically trigger a chapter change. Um, and now we're going to try to get out of the church. But if we open the door normally, uh, the chapter reverts. So what we're going to try to do is a door cancel uh, here. So what that is, is if we interrupt opening the door with a gadget fire, here we fire the quick fire back claw. Nice. First try. First try. And then... Um, Shout out to the GDQ computers for giving me the exact right amount of lag to make yeah. that easy. <laughs> yeah. So it's so the back claw cancel, um, it's, it requires you to press three buttons at the same time, which is not the most consistent thing. Um, so what we try to do is we try to lag the game by holding a button on uh, the keyboard. And for whatever reason, if you're doing that while using the controller, it lags the game. So uh, that makes it a bit more consistent, especially since it's so it's not that early into the run. So it's nice to just not have to worry about that skip as much. So. Yeah, some fun gliding here. Yeah. The a lot of uh, grappling stuff, canceling it into a glide and yeah. going. It's pretty intuitive. Yeah, and um, yeah, so we're heading to the steel mill. Um, For some reason, I don't remember yeah, why. <laughs> something, something about Joker is in here. Yeah. Um, so we, we're going to enter it through this chimney. Uh, there's a nice little skip that we'll do. Uh, it's called Lava Skip, where you skip the lava. Yeah. So. <laughs> I love how this suit turns green in here. Yeah. Because of the weird lighting. Yeah. All right, so we're going to yoink this thing to cool off this railing here so we can progress. And once it's cooled off, climb over here. I uh, go here, and then you go here, and then you go here, and then you skip the lava. Yeah. <laughs> that saves about four seconds. Yeah. Um. All right. So this is uh, so there's this doctor here named Stacy who we need to rescue. Um, yeah, she's, she's in a bit of trouble. trouble. Yeah, she get, That's a oh. pretty far fall. Yeah, that's that's know. brutal. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna rescue her and then never see her again. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, we don't have to fight all these people. Most of them are gonna leave. In case you're wondering. Yeah, but we need to we need to stop some steam, which uh, pushing those buttons seems to do. Yeah. Now we've got another fight. It's gonna look a lot like the courthouse one. Yeah, lot lots of, of ground takedown cancels. Yeah, 
I am going to throw a lot more Batarangs in between the cancels just because there's so many guys in this fight, it's easy to get overwhelmed. Yeah, and on easy, this fight's not bad. On hard, it can be very annoying. The main difference between hard mode and easy mode is that the enemies attack faster and then they do more damage uh, when you're... Uh, when they hit you, so... That's that fight over. Yeah. Now we have to go find that doctor. Yeah. He's in here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Dive roll canceling, so... So um, we, skipped the, uh, we skipped the introduction to stealth earlier. So yeah. this is now the introduction to stealth. Um, yeah. And here's how stealth's going to work. Um, we're just kind of not... <laughs> Do that. And then you saw Shikin also do a door cancel there. Um, it lets you open the door without um, actually doing the animation for opening it, which is actually a bit faster. Um, it's really hard to do with the back claw, though. Yeah, but we'll have a way of doing it much uh, more easily uh, very soon. Yeah. Yeah. So this is another stealth uh, example. So here um, we'll do a tiny little bit of stealth at the beginning, and yeah. then we're just gonna get right back into. Yeah. Unusual. Done. And on easy, uh, basically this is similar to the 2022 Batman movie where bullets do nothing. <laughs> so on hard, you have to be a bit more careful. Uh, the bullets do something there. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have the wreck. Whoops. We have the wreck, which is definitely the most broken gadget in the game. Um, with this, the, the wreck itself has so many tricks you can do, like canceling doors, but it also lets you do something called activate storage, which is looks like that. And then I did not explain that well at all. But. <laughs> yeah, so, so what happens in this game is if you get into a corner, the game keeps the state of that. And if you basically fool the game into thinking that you're still in a corner, you can then get storage and then go back into that corner. And then if you do so, and then there you were able to use it to grapple. Um, yeah. And now we're gonna do another storage trick here. So yeah. we're gonna get. First of all, we gotta get this hook sorted out, destroy some stuff. Classic Batman thing. So we're gonna get something called standing wreck storage. And basically, when we pull that out, Batman will go into a standing state. Uh, when you climb here normally, it activates a fight. But if you go into standing state and then climb, you're good. Yeah. All right, now we have a big, long, unskippable cutscene. So, this. All right, but, but before we do more donations, I just want to say really quick. Um, so we mentioned earlier that uh, Kevin Conroy died of cancer a little over a year ago, and he was the voice of Batman in this game as well as a lot of Batman media for over 30 years at this point. Um, and this this event is actually supporting the Prevent Cancer Foundation. So. Uh, Definitely get those donations in. Every every dollar counts. Um, and Kevin, this one's for you. I wish somebody would. Why should I? Because now there's a teeny little bit of me in you. Can do some donations then. Thank you for the words, chicken nuggets. And for those of you who have tuned in, yes, we are raising funds for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. The Prevent Cancer Foundation, founded in 1985 as a U.S.-based nonprofit organization. Their mission is to save lives across all populations through cancer prevention and early detection by focusing their work through research, education, outreach, and advocacy. Their vision is to stop cancer before it starts. You can find out more information about PCF at preventcancer.org. We have $20 from Private Iron. Arkham City is absolutely the best Batman game out there. A wild premise for not just a game, but overall a Batman story. Completely perfect. Rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. We have $25 from McBoat. Hey everyone, it's the most wonderful time of year when GDQ is here. I'm looking forward to watching much of AGDQ and happy that we can contribute again to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Best of luck to all the runners. We have $250 from Green Intern. I've had too many people in my life struggle with cancer, so this is a donation in honor of all of them. Let's keep the donations coming. All right, so just did a couple more zips. Yeah. Um, we'll, get a, we'll get a better look at how those work in just a little bit, but for now we're gonna make our way to the old GCPD building. Yeah. Um, we think Mr. Freeze might be there. Um, oh, and like Batman's dying or something. I guess that's important. 
Yeah, so we don't care about Protocol 10 anymore. <laughs> we need to not die. Yeah. This radio. I'll be able to listen into some classic radio hacking here. Yeah. You do a lot of this in the early game, and then you never do it again. It's great. I've got to get in there. Well, I guess you only do it twice, but like it feels like a lot when the, when you're playing the game this fast. Yeah. Yeah. So here, there's going to be some more stealth. Um, yep. So so, start this off with a very stealthy takedown here, and then. Run it up with some more stealth takedowns. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Yeah. Please, I give up. And that guy just gives up, because of course he does. I mean, he's fighting Batman. Like, what's he going to do? Probably the smartest thug. Yeah, he just saw what happened to his three <laughs> friends there. So, like, wouldn't make much sense for him to try anything. All right, so uh, Penguin's trapped us in here, so... We're going to do what Batman always does. We're going to call Alfred, tell him we're trapped, and then hang up and solve the problem ourselves. Alfred. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the dialogue skips are always so goofy. All right, so now we have actual hacking, um, which is basically you just put in the password. And there we go, hacked. Got a fun chain of zips and other yeah. movement tech up ahead. Yeah, so like I mentioned, so what a zip is, the way zips work is um, when you're in a corner and you throw a batarang, the game tries to reposition you to the corner. But if you're, but if you fool the game into not actually being in a corner, then the game gets confused and basically teleports you towards the origin point, which is what happened there. So we're gonna do a same another thing here. This zip saves about one second, right? Probably. <laughs> I don't actually know. But yeah. Um, so now uh, we do some zips. Zips are usually faster than gliding uh, if you do them in the right spot. Uh, the other thing to note is that we do zips on PC at 62 FPS because where you actually go uh, depends on your frame rate. So on console, the it's on 30 FPS. So it's very, it's actually very different uh, in terms of where it takes you. Oops. Um. All right, so we're heading to the museum because uh, apparently that's also where Penguin and Mr. Freeze are. Put in another password here. Yeah. We have positive visual on Batman. So there's a little cutscene here that's supposed to play to teach you about knives, but we're, we're okay. I think we got it under control. Whoops. Whoa. Forgot about... Uh, when you do church skip, the uh, oh. the Batarang final hits yeah. don't actually work. Normally, normally they'll... If there's one guy left in the fight and you throw a battering at them, it takes them out. But until I reload checkpoint, that won't happen anymore. Yeah. And then there's a penguin here. Yeah. So we oh my gosh, he's here. Kill it. Back to the it's not working. Oh well. Oh, okay. Using military grade communication disruptors. The only way to crack this. So so penguin somehow somehow outsmarted us and made it so we can't hack this thing. Yeah. But we're just gonna outsmart them right back and go destroy those. Yeah, and we're actually doing the jammers in the wrong order. Um, we're yeah, gonna the, do a, yeah, the you're supposed to do two above ground and then one below ground, but it turns out we can just go to the below ground one first. So uh, this is what under the city looks like, if you were ever wondering. Yeah. Yeah. So first we do a zip out of bounds. Then we're gonna do a nice little ret gun thing here. Nice. Like that, basically, if you interrupt your uh, dive roll with a ret gun shot, then uh, Batman shoots up really high, which is very good uh, in this game because the way that you gain speed while gliding is by diving. And so there's a predator here. We're going to ignore every single person here um, and just uh, destroy the jammers. The animation for destroying the jammers is very long, but if you do a door cancel input on it, uh, it makes it really fast. i got to be careful with the zip out of here. Because you can bounce off the dudes. Uh oh, and yeah. that's the worst. Um, looks like we made it out okay. Should have enough height here. There we go. Then here he needs to hit a specific trigger, a loading trigger to load in the overworld, which he oh, got. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes things get a little janky down there, but it usually works out. Yeah. So now we'll do the second jammer. Uh, this is going to be another stealth section where we ignore everybody. Yeah. Lots of guys with guns. And they're all optional. 
See you later. <laughs> and this third one is a fight, and we have to actually fight everybody, so. Yeah. Started off with a glide kick, and then another classic ground takedown cancel spam to win. The signal's blocked the code. Sounds like Penguin's final jammer was activated Oops. somewhere on the That's okay. Yeah. And then here we're going to grab a Riddler trophy, uh, which does a couple things. One is it gives us XP. Uh, second, it unlocks uh, the Riddler physical challenges, which also give us XP. So we'll get a few of those. Um, and getting the XP is important for getting some upgrades in this game, which will make things faster. And try to skip a fight here. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, that fight skip can be pretty hard. So. All right, and we can successfully hack this thing and go through the museum. And we could just like run through this corridor here, but why would we do that when we can do a zip? Yeah, running slow. Oops. Oh, nice, and he got the thing where there's like a zoom in cutscene, but he managed to skip it, so. All right. And we're coming up on the first like big, big skip of the run, I guess. Yeah. Well, I guess church skip's pretty big, but like. Yeah, but this is pretty big as well. So what we're supposed to do is fight a do a bunch of, do a big fight with a titan, um, but we're not going to do that. And we're also supposed to rescue some cops. Um, that was one cop we just rescued, but instead we're going to door cancel this. Uh, door canceling deloads the room that you're in. Um, and then what we're going to do is basically try to do a zip and glide basically past the room where the fight is, um, directly to where Mr. Freeze is. So we'll do a... Fun out of bounds gliding here. Yeah. Basically trying to glide around a bunch of load triggers right now. And now that I'm inside the, not the next room, but the room after that, I'll yeah. fully load it in. You can see these doors are here, so all the collisions here. And then there we go. Yeah, and then running dive roll cancels. Yeah, running slow. And then when we open this door, we're going to want to uh, reload checkpoint. Yeah. Fun fact if you exit to menu, you will. Brick your save file. Yeah, everything's just kind of broken right now, so yeah. you gotta reload so. to bring everything back. There's a glitch where if you, there's like a visual glitch where you think that you reload a checkpoint, but you actually exit to menu. Yeah, That's if you honest. like, if you do the menuing too fast, it like quits yeah. to menu and screws you over. It's great. Yeah. And now we're gonna do something called gel warp. So what's supposed to happen is if we put gel on this wall normally, uh, it triggers a fight. But First try. Yes, nice. Um, and. Basically, what happens is if you detonate a gel, and then if you fire the ret gun, and then place another quick fire gel, um, it teleports the gel back to the first time you detonated it. And if you do it in a certain setup near that wall, the during the teleport, the gel gets caught onto the wall, which lets you blow it up. Um, so now we're getting probably one of the most upgrade important upgrades in the run, which is the hacking range, because. There's this thing that we were supposed to hack before, and we need the range upgrade in order to hack it so that we can continue with the run. Uh, if you don't have enough XP to afford that, then you have softlocked your run. These guys are a little confused, but it's okay. Yeah. And then um, we also got critical strikes, which will make fights a little bit faster. Um, Basically, all the all the thugs on easy go down with one critical strike and one regular strike. Yeah. Yeah, and we do a wreck jump to glide over the water. That's quite a bit faster than going on the ice. I heard rumors there's a shark in this game. Yeah. yeah. People say that, but I've never seen one. Yeah, and then there's this little uh, zoom in that you skip um, by going by door canceling and then going through the door at a certain time. And then we're going to do more stealth. Yeah. This is going to look a little bit more like a stealth encounter, except it didn't work ne at all. Never mind, yeah. <laughs> just stay quiet and you'll stay safe. All right. <laughs> It's gonna be yeah, so this awkward. is a little bit improvised. Yeah, I'm just doing the like 2018 yeah. strat. Whoops, maybe. There we go. And then um, a fun thing in this game with predators is that you kind of backclaw everybody over railings. <laughs> That's pretty much how we're gonna do uh, all of the <laughs> predators. So. Yeah. Yeah, they just ignore everybody, or you. Yeah. you Yoink people with the back claw. Yeah, so we rescued Freeze, and now we're giving him his Freeze suit, and then he's going to give us something called the Disruptor, which we need to fight Penguin. Yeah, Penguin got Mr. Freeze's gun. Yeah. But now we have a thing specifically designed to disrupt Mr. Freeze's gun. Yeah. Very interesting. wonder if that'll be useful later at all. Yeah. 
The undercover cops need my help. Getting pretty good dive roll cancels in this run. Yeah. Dive roll cancels are very fast when you do it right, but it's not that easy. Yeah. It's just a lot of inputs all yeah. at once. All right, this is the Iceberg Lounge. This is where Penguin's hanging out. Yeah. Um, do a little zip here to get through it just a little bit faster. Um, I don't know where I am. There we are. Didn't quite take me where it usually does, but that's okay. Yeah. All right, so we disrupt Penguin and then try to whack him at the right time. Ah. There's a there's a fun thing that can happen there where Penguin just stays there, but Batman does his full punch animation. Yeah, if you punch him basically at the exact right, the earliest you can. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so now there's this guy named Grundy. Yeah, he's dead, sort of. It's it's complicated, but uh, anyway, this electricity stuff is is doing something for him. So we're gonna blow up these things up, and that's basically how this whole fight's gonna work. Cool. That's phase one, and then just a little bit after this cutscene starts, I'm gonna do a reload to skip the rest of the cutscene, and then. You can move a little bit before the game loads in, so I'm gonna try to set this up, perfect. That can be a little tricky, because Grundy also can move before the game fully loads in, and he can like grab you and do stuff. But that was actually perfect. You can uh, you can shoot him with a wreck and it fills his health bar, yeah. fun fact. Um, another fun fact about the wreck and wreck storage is that you can use it anywhere, including during cutscenes. <laughs> Yeah, and so. he's just gonna he's just gonna stay there. <laughs> All right, Batman will show back up here eventually. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now it's a lot harder to hit these things because they're like always on. And that's what happens if you get too close. All right, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. And then Batman doesn't kill, um, so we're just gonna rip out this guy's heart. Yeah. Also, I have punching bound to the mouse wheel, so the punches here are gonna be super, super fast. Yeah, we'll see that later. It's gonna look really cool. Yeah. All right, so since Batman just killed someone, that sort of broke the space-time continuum, so we're gonna, we're gonna erase that. And uh, also, Batman 2 has now been retired. He's on uh, indefinite leave. Um, Batman 3 is going to take it from here. There's another fun wreck storage thing. And if I go away, Penguin will start shooting at me again. Oh, there we go. We got some grenades here. <laughs> All right, so there's there was like a ninja here, and there's this blood trail. We can scan the blood trail. Um, yeah. I guess. It doesn't really matter. I mean, we have to, but like, now we're yeah. just gonna ignore it. Yeah, we're gonna just not track that ninja. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna make our way to the underground, but before we do that, we need to do something to make sure we can buy the line launcher tightrope upgrade later. Um, there's, a couple, there's a couple upgrades in this game that are tied to story triggers. Um, and the tire up upgrade is one of them. Some other things are the uh, oops, the smoke grenade and the bat claw disarm upgrades. Yeah, I, we can't, we don't get those because we did church skip. Um, and that the bat claw disarm in particular will be important later. But we absolutely need the tire rope upgrade to do a trick later. So we're gonna go a little bit out of our way to get that. So we're, we're heading back into the subway, very, very same way we went before. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a backup checkpoint here just to be safe, cause this stuff's been messing me up lately. And also since we don't have smoke, if we were doing this on hard, the predators would be a lot scarier. Um, a lot of the times on hard, you can just drop a smoke and it saves you. But uh, since we don't, we wouldn't have that. Um, it would make it a lot scarier. All right, so we're gonna do a little zip through a wall here. Yeah. Cool. 
Yeah, and hacking this in particular is what tri allows us to actually unlock the tightrope um, upgrade. So fun fact, in 100%, we don't ever do this, so we never get the tightrope. Uh, which is kind of weird because you actually are supposed to use it for a few trophies, so uh, you have to do some alternate stuff. Yeah, so we're uh, taking a bit of a... Oh, Oof. that's exactly this, what I was worried about. That is why you got the <laughs> checkpoint. Yeah. Oh, there's one else, there. There's also nice. the backup here, yeah. yeah. All right, now we just got to run back over here real quick. Yeah, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to skip a Predator um, coming up. It saves about three seconds. Um, so what we're going to try to do is glide into the door to that Predator from out of bounds. I'll just do the backup. Oops. Come on. Nope. Try it again, then I'll do the other way again. This area is so weird. Nope. All right. The zips in this room are kind of janky. But we've got... We've got options. There we go. There we go, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to climb up here, and then we'll enter this door from out of bounds. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is basically glide uh, to the end of this predator room. Uh, this is a... Uh, this glide is much harder than it looks. There's a lot of geometry Shikin's going to have to avoid, um, and you don't really know what it is because it's invisible. Yeah, you kind of just have to know the room layout or know where to go relative to your visual cue. It looks like yeah. we got in. Yeah, so we'll go in perfect. and then... Yeah, perfect, and then we'll reload here. Yeah. And now what we want to do is advance the chapter. Yeah, so since we skipped that part, first we got to watch a little cutscene here. Um, if we just advanced right now and went to the the trials area, there would just nothing would happen. We just wouldn't be able to progress. So we have to go back into the predator room to advance the chapter to then be able to do the trials. But we don't want to go into the predator room because then we'll be stuck in there and we'll have to actually do the predator that we just skipped. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cancel this door, so we're stay on this side, and then there's a checkpoint we can trigger over here. Um, we can only trigger checkpoints once every eight seconds, so I'm just going to buy an upgrade real quick while we're waiting. Perfect. And now we can advance. Yeah. And so now what we're supposed to do is fight some ninjas, scan some robots. We're going to do neither. Yeah. So there are these ninjas here. We'll just ignore them. And then instead of scanning the robots, we're going to just go on out of bounds. Another classic glide to the next door glide. Yeah. Yeah, and we want to... So there's a manhole here. We're going to cancel it so that we can load in this room. And normally when you open this manhole, it triggers a really long cutscene, but it's not going to trigger here. What is wrong with me? Oh, my goodness. There we go. Nice. Okay. All right, so now we're going to do some parkour in order to actually advance. There's this door we need to get past that only opens during the cutscene, so we need to do some shenanigans. Yeah. Um, and we also really don't want to watch the cutscene because it has Batman's dead parents in it. Yeah. No Arkham game is complete without a cutscene of Batman's dead parents, but they're also usually very okay. slow. So That was a little awkward, but we, we got there. Yeah. yeah, so then we'll glide onto this pipe. Uh, Ooh. Mm, mm. Um, are we, I think we, are, we watch, are we watching the cutscene? <laughs> no, no, we're not actually, because oh, okay. we got a checkpoint. Okay. Yeah, this route is okay for that. Okay. On the, uh, on the old route, you'd have to worry about uh, losing storage here, because anytime you, like, die or reload checkpoint, you lose any storage you're trying to hold on to. Yeah. But, uh... What's going on here? Come on. <laughs> all right. Of course, the parkour of all things is giving me trouble. It's okay. Something had to go wrong. There we go. 
so. A oh. <laughs> yeah, little so bit of cape weirdness here. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, so this is Talia. Um, oh, we don't get our WWE entrance because I reloaded. That's yeah. unfortunate. The, um, the ninjas would like keep spawning in and they'd actually interfere with the sequence. Um, it's pretty funny, but sadly I couldn't make it happen. I've seen worse. Yeah, so Talia is the daughter of the leader of the League of Assassins. Um, we're going to... We've decided we want to be part of the League of Assassins, um, but to do that you have to murder somebody, so... They're gonna they're gonna test us to see if we're ready to murder somebody. Yeah. Um, we'll see how that goes, I guess. Yeah. So first step is this chalice that we're gonna not drink. Yeah. They want you to like drink this so you hallucinate stuff. But uh, we're gonna hallucinate stuff whether we drink it or not. So I say we don't drink it. Yeah. No. Wait. No. Yeah. It just disappears. <laughs> yeah, so the, the interact button, it's similar to opening a door, so you just door cancel it. And now in this trial, there's two parts, and this first part, you're supposed to glide onto that iceberg in front of us. We're going to not. Uh, we're going to just glide right on past it and go out of bounds into the trigger for the next part. Yeah, and if we touch anything, we'll die. Yeah. Anything at all. Yeah, so we do a wreck jump to gain height, and it also prevents us from uh, dying if we touch anything. So we'll uh, basically do a few dive bombs to get to the end of this, uh, and then we're going to clip into some rock that lets us go out of bounds into the trigger for the next part. So we have a classic uh, walls are optional moment right here. Yeah. Oh, things get a little weird sometimes. Okay. It's very uh, fast though when that happens. Yeah. So. Uh, the rest of this is pretty uh, pretty standard. Glide to thing, fight people. You know how it is. So I think we got time for a couple more donations. All right, but before I get to the donations, I just have to say, we are less than $6,000 away from that 100K. We are getting so close. So chat, what do you say we get together a little $5 donation train to get us to that 100K? I think you can do that, chat. We have $100 from Clark Kent. I am Batman. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. It, Strange. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> All right, Clark Kent, whatever you say. We have an anonymous $100 donation. Na 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 Batman. We have a $25 donation from Matt Hugh. Sending the donation GDQ needs, not the donation it deserves. <laughs> so excited to see a speedrun of one of my all-time favorite games. We have a $25 donation from Yours Truly Commentator. Shicken's Arkham City GDQ stream is what got me watching speedrunning and is still one of my favorite runs to watch. Good luck with the run. Thank you, Commentator. Probably got time for one more. We have $10 from Enderswig. You For Kevin. Your final challenge awaits you through this door. Maybe one more. <laughs> I pray the spirits will be kind. All right, we have fifty dollars from General Goodsmells. For the legendary Kevin Conroy, I am the vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. All right, so we're getting into the the second boss fight of the game, the Ra's al Ghul boss fight. Um, so first, we're just gonna have to wait here a little bit. We're gonna grab some standing wreck storage that'll be useful later. Also, flex a bit. All right, so we decided not to murder Raish, and he's kind of mad about that, so that's why we're fighting now. Oh, yeah, this is easy. Yeah. <laughs> I've been practicing this on hard for a while, so it's kind of refreshing. Yeah. So here, because we have storage, we can pull out the right gun and then be really close to Raish, which makes this a lot faster. And we can... We can 
manually shoot the wreck and then quick fire it at like basically the same time to just spam it super quickly. All right, we're gonna do a cool strat here where we just mash slower than the game thinks we're supposed to. Okay, and then again. And then it lets us do this beat down on him. And doing that skips a whole cutscene and the next phase of the fight. So we're just going to reload checkpoint to get everything back to normal. And then we'll be at the final phase of the fight. And same idea as the other one, just a little bit harder. Yeah, on hard, this boss fight would be a little bit scary, but on easy, it's not really yeah, a problem. That's, that's it. Yeah. All right, now we have a huge skip right at the end. Oh, okay. So at the end, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a bunch of counters. Then we're gonna do a beatdown on him. At the very end of the beatdown, we're going to cancel out of the animation, and then we're gonna stun him. That's fine. And then we're gonna throw batarangs at him. Cool. And that skips like what a forty-second cutscene or yeah, something. Yeah, it's very yeah. long. And that's rage. That's 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 yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So the reason why we went to rage is to get some of his blood, and then now we're gonna go back to freeze. Yeah, they're gonna help us not die or something. Yeah. Um, this is one nice thing about tightrope is you can also get Sorry, storage on the tightrope, and do zips based off of that storage. So. Uh, that's going to help us get out of this room very quickly. It's a pretty fun zip. Yeah. And we're not actually able to get out of the room normally. He's been using it for centuries. There's like a door that we never opened. Yeah. So. Generally, when you go in somewhere out of bounds, you have to come out out of bounds as well. Yeah. And then, um, so we're supposed to exit through the subway, but we're going to actually exit through another way. We're not intended to do it this way, um, but if we do a line launch here, um, then we can stand here, and then we're just high enough to be able to put gel up uh, on this gel wall. Um, and then we can exit. Basically, this is a place you're supposed to unlock much later in the game. Yeah, so it'll it'll be very apparent that we're not really supposed to be here, even yeah. though we're technically in bounds. Yeah, looks kind of fine from here, but then there's just this hole in the wall. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're gonna go to freeze, but before we do that, we have to rescue the mayor or something. Yeah, he got thrown in prison. I mean, he's oh. responsible for this prison, but we're still saving him because that's what Batman likes to do. Yeah, he saves everyone, except yeah. Grundy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's fine. Also gives us a chance to interrogate him and ask yeah. him what the heck's going on here. Yeah. Because this whole, this whole prison city thing seems a little weird, you know? Like, how did, how did this happen? And, like, what's really going on here? I don't know. Anyway, back to not dying. <laughs> this is a fun glide path for me. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's an upgrade in this game called Grapnel Boost, but it takes about a minute and a half to get, so it's just not worth it. And it doesn't actually make gliding much faster. Um, yeah, in this game. It's almost never faster, but we used it for so long because it just makes everything so much easier. Yeah. But we, we did end up routing it out of everything. Except 100%. Yeah. Because you have to get it. So this is the Mr. Freeze fight. This is considered probably the best boss fight in the series. Um, the idea behind it is that if you do an attack on him, Mr. Freeze learns how to never have you do that attack again. So, for example, here we're going to disrupt his gun. Uh, we're not going to be able to do this again, so we're going to have to do different attacks each time. So on easy, we only have to do four attacks. Uh, on normal, you would do five, and on hard, you do eight. And then there's a new game plus where you have to do ten. And ten is a lot. You, there are only like 12 attacks total that you can do. Um, so you have to pretty much use your entire arsenal here. Uh, but yeah, the second attack is this line launch attack. He is a little far from the wall, but yeah. I think it'll be okay. So now we want to use this gel wall. Uh, we want to blow it up, so he has to get a little bit closer, though, for it to work. 
There we go. And now he's in this water that has some electric cables there. Maybe we can use that. Yeah, and there's this big red button here. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. And that's freeze. Yeah. Just absolutely bullied. <laughs> This whole uh, dying thing's really starting to get to us, so we're gonna see if we can deal with that. Yeah. Um, we were supposed to get a cure here, but uh, Harley Quinn stole it and took it to Joker, so now we gotta go get it from Joker. So there is a cutscene that's supposed to play when I go out here, but instead I'm just gonna buy some upgrades. We're gonna buy these combat upgrades that we'll need in a little bit. Yeah, so you're going to see combat finally look normal. And then we're going to force a save here. And then when we reload checkpoint, we'll just be somewhere else and we'll just not trigger the cutscene. Yeah, there's a cutscene where Vicky Vale's helicopter gets shut down. So we're supposed to rescue her, but that's slow, so we're going to not. Yeah, She'll be it's, fine. It's someone else's problem now. Yeah. And then we're going to make our way over to the steel mill back to where Joker is. But gliding is slow, so we're going to zip. Another thing that's slow is actually going through the steel mill, so we're gonna we're gonna try to just avoid that entirely. Yeah. Um, and the cool way to do that is there's another optional wall here. Um, we're just gonna make our way through that. Okay. Perfect. Go over here, and you'll notice there's this door just like floating in midair. So unfortunately, it is a little hard to open doors from midair, but we're Batman, so you know we'll figure yeah. something out here. And we got this upgrade. We went out of our way to get called the tightrope. So this is the reason why we got the tightrope. Yeah. So if I do it right, oh, I didn't get close enough. Or, yeah. Right. That's okay. We can just try it again. Yeah. The skip is not easy. So. There we go. Nice. Yeah, so here uh, we're going to fight Joker um, and a bunch of guys. So, so we, there's this upgrade that we got called multi-ground takedown. Basically, if you knock guys onto the ground, you can do a multi-ground takedown on them, which knocks them all out. This makes fights very, very fast. Yeah, so the, the new game, instead of ground takedown cancels, is throw batarangs at everybody, and then once everybody's down, do a multi-ground takedown, because there's no limit on how many people it can target. So we're going to try to knock these guys down. OK, that nice. did work. Whoops. That's OK. Freeze Joker over there so he doesn't bother us. Yeah, so now we're going to get another guy. Uh, this guy's named Mr. Hammer. He's um, takes a lot of hits to get down, but because we bound our mouse wheel, to punch, uh, we can punch him really fast if you have a free scroll mouse, which we have. Yeah. So it looks pretty cool. You do 50 hits in like nothing. So. Where am I? There we go. OK, I only got three guys there. So I got to kind of juggle the Titan with the rest of the guys because yeah. I don't want the Titan to if you, lose if the you, fact that he's stunned. Yeah, if you, hit the, if you hit the Titan while other guys are there, then you'll ride him, which is very, very slow. Yeah. So we want to basically have the Titan be the last guy that you take out, aside from Joker, because you can't take out Joker. Yeah, Joker has to be last. Yeah. All right, so uh, the Mysterious Protocol 10 has started, and um, the short version is that these helicopters are just blowing everybody up. Um, as, as an anti-killing superhero, we're not really a fan of that, so we're going to see what we can do to stop that. Yeah, but we're supposed to download some codes off of the helicopter, but that's slow, so... Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're just going to go straight to the source of the problem. Yeah. But because we didn't get the codes, there's this elevator that we need to ride up. Um, and we can't. So we're going to have to do some alternative stuff for that. I think this is my favorite skip in the game. Yeah. I don't have time for this. Apparently, Batman doesn't have time for this. Yeah, so we're, we're going to get storage. Um, basically, 
if you're on a um, railing and then you throw freeze grenades, then it actually can raise Batman <laughs> into the sky. So what we're doing is this is called freeze grenade hovering. Um, so what we did is we got storage on the railing, and now uh, if you now with that you can do basically freeze grenade hover to basically climb the elevator. So uh, what we're gonna do is there's this predator that we didn't do. So what we have to do is uh, basically deload this predator and load in the upper part of this uh, elevator. So we do a few, uh, there we go, we got the load. And now we're gonna throw 54 uh, freeze grenades uh, to get finally get to the top of the tower. Dark Knight Rises, anyone? <laughs> Yeah, and so when we get to the top, there's going to be some guys. We're going to just ignore them. In classic Batman fashion of not taking the bad guys out. <laughs> yeah. This thing that the freeze grenades is getting stuck on is the uh, load trigger, actually. Yeah, so we're going to get two grapple points, and then we can grapple up. And so if we uh, just go into the elevator like this, Batman will grapple up a little bit higher than where we would normally be. So as the top of the tower. Yeah. If uh, if you do the skip wrong, like you don't do enough freeze grenades or something, you'll the top of the tower won't load correctly. Yeah. And so now there's a big predator at the top here. On easy, it's not really a problem, but on like, especially on hard, it's a pretty difficult predator. Uh, but what you can do is you can do a glitch where you're supposed to hack a panel uh, to get up there, but if you basically, if we do a wreck jump and then just glide to the top directly uh, without hacking the panel, then the enemies don't see us, so you can just run up to them and take them out. Yeah, they have no idea what's going on. They can't hear anything. Yeah, the only uh, thing they... is, yeah, they're invisible, though, <laughs> if uh, you're in detective vision. Um, sometimes you use detective vision to actually find people, so it can be kind of awkward. Uh, if you don't know their layouts or where they go uh, during this, but Chicken's done this a lot, so. And that takes care of that guy. Yeah, so and that Predator is, becomes a complete joke, uh, especially even on hard, so. And there we go. this is the only hack in this game where you have a lot of potential passwords, uh, but only one works. So. Yeah. All right, now we're going to have the most satisfying headbutt in video game history. Probably. I can't think of any other headbutts, if I'm being honest. It's a good one, though. And now we've got some time for some more donations. All right, we have $5 from Spartacus. I am Batman. Bruce, are you okay? Sure, Spartacus. <laughs> um, I thought you were Spartacus, but all right. We have $25 from Ara. All aboard the Bat Train. Choo choo. We have $25 from Not Good Gamer, aka Adam West. My actual name is Adam West, so donating during Batman Arkham City only seems right. The fact my OG costume is in play is merely a bonus. <laughs> nice. We have $25 from That Space Dude. A little over a month ago, I lost my grandmother to brain cancer. Being able to donate towards a cause that helps prevent cancer and help people like her is an honor. Let's help prevent cancer together. And good luck on the run, chicken. I'm sorry for your loss, space dude. Yes, me too, space dude. Yeah, so... Yeah, so here Talia is held hostage by Joker somehow. This happened in a cutscene we skipped. <laughs> so we're gonna go to her. Yeah. But there are a bunch of snipers uh, that we need to take out. And normally in Glitchless, what you would do is you would get Batclaw Disarm, and it, this part becomes really easy. You uh, could just, like, yank all their guns off their buildings, and then that just counts as taking them out. Yeah, but we don't have that. We can't get that, so uh, we're going to have to... It's a apparently, sketchy. <laughs> yeah, it's sketchy, and apparently ground takedown cancels are silent. So we're going to batarang them and then try to make it so that we, when we do the ground takedown cancel, the back call doesn't hit a wall. Because if it hits a wall, then someone can hear it, and then we're in a bit of trouble. 
specifically if the wall is like close to somebody. Yeah. That wall I hit there was okay. Yeah. It's not fine except when it is fine, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and even on easy, these snipers are pretty annoying. Yeah, if, they, if you're not careful, they will destroy you. Yeah. Like, even here, we lost half of our health. Yeah. So. And on hard, it's even worse. It's even scarier, so. All right, just three more. And we're going into the final boss fight here. Yeah, so... This is Clayface. Yeah. Um, he's, he's, he's clay, and he has a face, so he's Clayface. Um, I don't remember why he's here, but it, it's okay. Something about Joker being disguised. Yeah, so he's going to either jump or... Okay, he's going to jump into that thing, and then I can blow it up with explosive gel. That does a bunch of damage. And then he'll do two more attacks, and then he'll roll. So we'll make sure he rolls into this one. And it's actually faster to get hit there. Yeah, um, I, I'm not bad. I'm letting him attack me. Yeah. <laughs> In case that wasn't obvious. Um, and then let him start his next attack so that there's less in the next phase. Set that up early. He's got a sword here, so we're gonna we're gonna cut him up with the sword. But Batman doesn't kill. Yeah. He doesn't kill, but he is an expert sword fighter. Yeah. Because sometimes you need to be an expert sword fighter, but not kill people, <laughs> I guess. All right, so he should just jump right away. There we go. Cool. And then this last bit's easy enough. Yeah, so normally casually you would just have him roll uh, into all of those exploding things, but that's a bit slow You can, when you can just have him jump into it. So... Yeah, it's definitely not something a casual player would ever like think to try. Yeah. But... So it's it's hard to even say if it's an intended mechanic or not. I, I think it probably is, but yeah. who knows. All right, now we're going to cut him up with the sword again. A little more literally. I think we, had, we got time for one quick donation here. All right, we have a $10 donation from Eccentric Penguin Fan. Another $25 if everyone in the room gives us their best penguin laugh. That was awful. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I don't think we're getting the $25. <laughs> well, it just said best penguin laugh. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Um, we're going to do the final phase of Clayface here. So basically, he's going to pop up. Um, you're going to throw a freeze grenade into his mouth, and then he's going to go back down. Um, you're going to try to do that four times, but uh, we're going to do something called phase skip, where we only have to do it three times. So the setup for that is, turns out you can just start throwing freeze grenades at him here. Get a couple in, take out a bunch of these clay minions. If you, if you run into this corner here, you uh, his attacks just don't hit you. Yeah, there's an invisible wall there. That was a pretty good pattern. Yeah, so we do it again. So that's the second phase. And then yep. get a few more freeze grenades in so that he has enough health so that you can finish him off in the last phase. Yeah. And uh, time's coming up pretty soon. Yeah. So if we're going to take out Clayface, he's going to get frozen, and then we'll jump into his mouth. And when we jump into his mouth, that's when the time ends. So she yeah. will count down. All right. And time. <laughs> totally jumped into his mouth there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, uh, it was great to be here. Um, shout out to the entire Batman Arkham speedrunning community. Um, if any of this looked interesting to you, or maybe you're interested in learning about one of the other games and their runs, um, go to speedrun.com, find whichever game you're looking for. We've got the Discord linked. You can ask questions in the forums. There's guides, all that good stuff. And uh, what else do I want to say? Shout out to Meta for driving me here. <laughs> that, that really helped. 
And uh, yeah, you got anything you want to say? Yeah, shout outs to everyone who uh, donated to the incentives. Um, we really appreciate it. It's for a great cause. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, we got a lot of great runs coming up, so stay tuned. Yeah. Same, same bat channel. <laughs>